¿Qué pasó, Francisco? ¿Tienes mute? Me sacó la aplicación y no sé ni, ni cómo aparecía aquí. <risa> Lo mismo me pasó, o sea, no sé qué habrá pasado. Ah, pues creo que todos estamos igual. Creo que todo, a todos. Sí, a todos nos sacó. Ah, ok. Gracias. Ah, bueno, gracias por la explicación. Ok, give me one second. Ya estarán todos acá, solo tengo 12. Vamos a esperar que regresen todos para volver a hacer en los, los breakout rooms. Bueno, lo voy a recrear y voy a ir metiendo a quienes se vayan uniendo a la miren. Okay, there we go.
No podía entrar, teacher. Vaya, ahorita la uno a un room. Ya le sale el mensajito. Yes, teacher, thank you. Ah, ok. Y Helen no puede unirse. Eh, no, teacher. Vaya, la voy a resignar a otro porque sí me sale que está asignada. Ok, la vamos a mover. Ve ahora si puede.
Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Ricardo. Lo voy How a unir a un grupo a ver si puede avanzar un poquito. Okay, thank you. Finally, I could. <laughs> yes, thank you for trying. Okay, thank you.
No es just teacher. Buenas noches. Se acaba de unir, ¿verdad? Hola. Hola. Vengo a tardes. Ahí le mandé un mensaje en el WhatsApp. Hey, yes, yes, I read it. Uh -huh. Thank you so much for joining. Mande. Gracias por unirse. Es importante que siempre se unan, aunque sea tardecito. ¿Le agarró la tarde en el trabajo, Juan? Did you finish the exercises? Yes, teacher. Were they yes, easy? Teacher. So, so, teacher. So, so? Which ones were not really easy? The ones for the comparatives or the ones for the coordinated conjunctions? The comparatives was uh -huh. kind of... Uh, they try to confuse us. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, was it uh, was it like, like a little tricky? Kind of tricky, right? Uh, were, were they similar to the ones that you told me that the previous teacher assigned to you? Were they similar or not really? ¿Fueron similares a los que me comentaban que les um, dejaba el teacher anterior? Teacher Francisco, creo que me comentaron. ¿O oh, no? ¿No? Yes, no. no, no eran así, pero, pero están más que bien. La verdad, sí, nos, nos funcionan. Los otros eran algunos de video, Al final que era lo eso, de comprensión, de, de lectura, ¿verdad? De, 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 de oído y todo eso. Pero ah, okay. es, están bonitos también. Ok, eh, lo bueno es que les da como la puntuación también. Ahí si se fijan al fondo, abajo ah, dice siguiente, ahí ustedes pueden seguirse ejercitando y ese sitio tiene todos los temas gramaticales que se pueden imaginar, así es que pues ahí les queda por si quieren seguir practicando. Hay muchos más ejercicios. Yo solo les seleccioné algunos cuantos. Eh, los primeritos, los más fáciles para que no, eh, no nos llevara tanto de lo de la clase. Pero pues que me alegro que han podido practicar. Aunque al principio pues tuvimos ese bajón, ¿verdad? Con Zoom. <ríe> Así que pues, pero ni modo. Ok, so we will continue. Uh, with the class, let's make sure uh, the presentation for today. Okay, so we are going to continue in this one. Uh, this is where we left the last class and we have, in this case, we will be able to organize a basic restaurant menu that features uh, the common part, right? Like for example, appetizers, snacks, main course, desserts and drinks options. So to start, um, let's discuss these questions that we have here. Sorry? No. Sí, nos sacó la aplicación a todos. <laughs> But yes, un, un ratito de caos nada más, pero ya lo, fue rapidito. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Okay, I like to hear that. Thank you so much, Carmen. That's nice. Okay, so what is your favorite starter, Carlos Mario?
What is your favorite starter? Are you the, what is your favorite starter? Um, uh, my favorite is chicken wings. Chicken wings for a starter, nice. Uh, can you ask the same question to another classmate? What is your favorite starter? It can be from this menu or any other. Eh, a ver. Perdón, teacher, me salí accidentalmente. Margarita Martínez. Margarita. Hello. What your favorite star? Dijo, ¿verdad, teacher? Starter. Ajá. Uh -huh. What is your favorite starter, Margarita? Nosotros vivíamos de arriba, estaban unos señores. Um, pretzel bread. Oh, cheesy pretzel bread. Nice, Margarita. Thank you so much. Um, let's see, you can select from this or this is just like an example. You can talk about any other starter or appetizer that is your favorite. Uh, Naomi, which one is your favorite starter? My favorite starter is <clears throat> quesadillas. Oh, okay. Like Mexican quesadillas. quesadillas. Mexican quesadillas. Sí. Excellent. They are delicious. Naomi, can you ask the same question to another classmate? Yes. Uh, Judy, what's your, what your favorite starters? Okay. My, my starters. My favorite starter. Chicken tenders. My favorite starter is chicken tenders and fries. Nice. Thank you so much. Continue. Ask someone else. Okay. Uh, what the color of the my favorite starter is uh, onion rings. Onion rings. They are delicious. Nice. Yeah, very delicious. Okay, Imelda, have you <laughs> ever eaten in an all-you-can-eat restaurant? What was the menu like? Uh, yes, I have it. I have, have it. I have eaten yeah. or just, I have. yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh, I eat pizza. You ate? Ate. Sorry. Okay, you ate pizza in a, all you can eat. Yes. Which one? Um, I ate pizza at Papayon's All You Can Eat. Okay, and how was it? It's delicious because you can taste so many flavors in all lunch. Okay, so you can taste the different pizza flavors or specialties. Yes. And how much did it cost? Do you remember? Um, it was a couple of years ago, but I remember it cost like seven dollars. Well, that's really cheap. And how many pieces yes. did you eat? <laughs> Uh, maybe five slices. Five, <laughs> five slices. or six, yes. Okay. <laughs> did, did it include beverage? No, the beverage is uh, a part. Okay, so you paid for the beverage separately. Yes. Okay, nice. 
Can you ask someone else in the team? Imelda, please. Okay. Mm. Jose Rui, have you eat, have you eaten in all you can eat? Papayons. It's a papayons. The same. Oh, really? Same as Imelda. So you try and all you can eat at Papa John's. Yes, ready. Uh, okay. Which was your favorite specialty? A uh, pepperoni. The pepperoni pizza. Why? Okay. Yes. But why? What? How many slices do you eat? Do you remember? No. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, continue, Rudy. Ask someone else in the team, please. Okay. Um, in Belen Batres. Hello. I have to say, teacher, that it's very sad that nobody named it French fries. It's the best starter ever. Ah, oh, French fries. That's yeah. your favorite starter. My favorite starter, yeah. French and then the pizza. Oh, okay. The pizza. Nice. And have you ever eaten in an all-you-can-eat restaurant, Belen? Yes. Which pizza, one? Pizza. Um, no, was tacos. Oh, you I can eat in from... tacos. Yes, maybe it was Sambor's thing. At Sambor's? Yeah, but it's really good. Oh, right. I remember uh, that was in Multiplaza, right? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Is it still open, that restaurant? No, I think it's no. The they restaurant closed, closed yes, closed uh, in the pandemic, I remember. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, no, it's uh, before. Before, before they have an yes. accident uh, in, in, in the place, so they closed it. Uh, they had an accident there. Well, I, I, when I was in, in college, presential, uh, and study. Um, for a lawyer, so they told us that it was an accident because in 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 uh, in the place uh, a guy have an accident with some mm -hmm. staff of the marketing. They put in a new excavation um, from Candice, I think, and then. Um, in La Bodera, I don't know how to say The warehouse? The warehouse. Mm -hmm. uh, all the glasses from the exhibition uh, cayeron encima. So the, the Sambers doesn't, doesn't make responsible for the, the accident. So they have a lot of complications. It's like the theme of the the camper motorcycle, something like that. So, uh, based on that uh, responsibility, responsibility that they don't assume, they close. The oh. the salas it came down, and only a, a um, was two sucursales in Metro Centro and Multiplaza. So. In other countries, I think it's already open, but here it's closer. Oh, okay, so they had two branches and both closed here in El Salvador. Two branches, they have them. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Correct. Oh, that's really unfortunate. Uh, it was a nice restaurant. The food was delicious. Well, but there is la calaca, fortunately. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, Takalaka. <laughs> Zócalo. Zócalo, yeah, it's really yeah. good too. The it's tortilla really soup there is amazing. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you so much for your participation, guys. Now, let us read this conversation about popular menu items. It is a conversation between Nancy and Jennifer. Do we have two volunteers to role play this conversation? Let's raise your hands. We're going to listen to a couple of you. Juan Ricardo and Carlos Mario. How well are they new muni in play town? Perdón. Okay, let's repeat again, uh, Juan Ricardo. How well? How well are the new? Are the new menu items? Menu item doing doing. Okay, Carlos Mario. The main fish and ships course are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers like it. Let me check. I don't only, only. Juan, the, the online. Online. Paul. Paul. For the recent products. For the recent problem. Yes. Yes. Just like you said. Just like you, you say. It seems the new nacho. We say a new nacho. Snacks. And much. Snacks. And nuts. Snacks. Nuts. Are doing great. I do great. 80% 80% of customers of customer like them like them okay. Carlos Mario Carlos Mario Perdón lo leí sin activar el micrófono <laughs> No worry. Estaba emocionado. <laughs> Probably we only have to revise the lemon cake since not many people reach well. Reacted. Okay. Reacted then. well, perdón. <laughs> no worries. Thank you so much. Another two volunteers. Let's raise your hands. Imelda and Belen. Okay. Let's we'll start. Mm. I will start. Uh, how, okay. 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 how well are the new menu items doing? The main fish and chips courses are doing great. 99% of people like them. Then the new lemon cake line is not doing very well. Only 35% of our customers like it. Let me check the online poll for recent product. Yes, just like you said, it seems the new nacho snacks are doing great. 80% of customers like, like them. Okay, awesome. Fantastic, thank you. We only have to revise the lemon. Okay, sorry, continue. Ah, uh, you can hear me? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Probably we only have to revise the lemon cakes since not many people reacted well. Lemon cake is delicious. Thank you so much, ladies. Yes. Thank you. It's my favorite dessert, lemon cakes. Yes, it's really, really delicious. Okay, wow. Well. Almost all of them. I also love tiramisu and cheesecake. <laughs> what about you, Belen? What, which one is your favorite? The chicken, the cheesecake is the best. The cheesecake. Okay. It's because the lemon cakes, um, it, nobody can do it very well. It's like in specific places or in a specific person can do it very well and have the taste of sweet and lemon at the same time. 
Mm -hmm. Yes, it's kind of difficult to, to yeah, it's get it difficult. well done. Yes. Okay. So thank you so much for your participation. And as you see, we're going to be talking about popular menus and restaurants. And some companies um, used to do this like marketing research about their products. So by looking at the graphic and the conversation, what is the percentage to the next product? Compare your answers with a partner. That's kind of easy. In this, you just have to write the percentage here. Maybe you can uh, review the conversation. Let's see the, do you remember the percentage of the new lemon cake line? 35%. 35%. Aha, uh -huh. it was 35%. What about the new nacho snacks? Do you remember? 99%. Excellent. It's like 99% with the nachos, right? Or no, the no, new nachos? The fresh and chips, 99%. 80% <laughs> for the nachos, okay. And the fish and chips, it was 99%. Uh, 99%. So it was the, I think it's the highest percentage for the fish and chips main cards. Okay, now in this, we have uh, this vocabulary, Thai chicken and rice, French onion soup, burger, cheese and tomato sandwich, lemon cake, grilled fish and potatoes, green salad, English tea, pink lemonade and fruit salad and cream. So we have the five categories here. We have starters, snacks, main cards, dessert and drinks. Let's put this um, into the categories that we have here. For example, the Thai chicken and rice. Where does it fit in the, cat in the starter, snacks, main cards, dessert or drinks? Main curds. Main curds, yes. Main curds. Main curds. What about the French onion soup? Start. Start. Starters. Yes, starters. Just like the potato, but in this case, it's onion. Now, burger. Snacks. Snacks. Yeah, that can be a snack. Yes, snacks. Snacks. Uh, cheese and tomato sandwich. Snacks. 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 Yes, it's nice. Now, lemon cake. Dessert. Dessert. Awesome. Fantastic. Grilled fish and potatoes. Main course. Main courses. Main courses. Main courses. Okay. Green salad. Main courses or maybe starters. Starter. Yes, starter. Uh, starter. English tea. Drinks. 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 Pink lemonade. Drinks. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. Fruit salad and cream. Dessert. 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 Yes, that can be uh, in that category. Yes, because starters like fruit for a starter is not like, no. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much. Now, based on that, we are going to create a menu including all those categories as you can see here we have um, a design of a menu this is quite simple just like an example for you we have the starters and we have spring rolls french onion soup tomato bruschetta uh, caesar salad inside dishes we have mixed green salad garden vegetable, french fries, and garlic bread. For main curds, we have grilled salmon with dilled sauce, roast beef with vegetable, chicken mushroom pie, marquish, vegetarian curry, eggplant lasagne. Okay, that sounds like Italian menu probably. And for dessert, we have apple pie with cream, lemon meringue pie, vanilla ice cream, and a crepe. So said, okay, that's maybe in French, and a fruit salad. Uh, is this menu appealing for you? Mm. 
Yes. Sound expensive for yes. me. <laughs> Sounds expensive. <laughs> what right? is eggplant? Eggplant. Be, yes, berenjena. That's it. Okay, it sounds expensive. It sounds like a, like a Italian probably restaurant. From another country. From another country. That is like a mix, right? Not Italian at all. I complete that Italian. So it's, um, for me, I think it's too simple. And um, it's, it's the variety of things is not like uh, ample. So I would like to have more options in this. But you can create one a menu per group. So we're going to work in groups. You can uh, maybe, uh, it's up to you. You can create it in a PowerPoint or you can do it in a, Word document. So the idea is that you share and you can paste maybe pictures or things like that to make it appealing. So that's what you're going to do in group. It says pay work, but we're going to do this in groups. We're going to create a menu. And uh, then as you see here, it's like a menu for a fast food restaurant. But you can, um, let's see, in esta traducción de Juan. Okay, so um, let's see. We're going to work in groups and organize a menu of a fast food restaurant, but not necessarily a fast food restaurant because I think that they don't have too many options, right? You can do an Italian restaurant, a Mediterranean, a theme restaurant. Um, whatever you make you want to do the menu needs to have the five categories such as appetizers snacks main cards desserts and drinks and um, at least three items i like the minimum is three items for each category so let me create the breakout rooms again so you can work and you can do it you can do it the way that you prefer and this is easier for you. And then we are going to share and describe the menu to the class. And let's see, what are the breakup rooms? And you can do it as I told you before in a PowerPoint or in a Word document, mm -hmm. it's, it's easier for you. Sí. Entonces, el, la, en, la entrada principal. Entrada, plato principal. Postra y bebida. Que las entradas serían starters. Mm -hmm. El plato principal, main, main course. Main course. ¿Y quién está desde computadora como para hacer la presentación? Yo estoy desde el celular. Igual yo. Yo también. Yo estoy en computadora, pero no sé utilizar eso. Yo digo que para que lo hagamos sencillo en Word, creo yo que es más fácil. Sí, es más no sencillo. Sé. Sí, también. Ajá. Voy a compartir mi pantalla. Bueno. 
Pero también dijo que podemos hacer un Word, ¿verdad? No necesariamente. Sí, no, no, ajá, no tiene que ser PowerPoint. Sí, porque solamente son tres, tres items por cada uno. Eh, ya están viendo, ¿verdad? Mi pantalla. Sí. Sí. Starters, es, ahí me corrigen si, si escribo algo mal. Ok. Main courses, así Course, era. Courses, sí. Courses, eh, el otro era desserts. 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 Um, drinks. 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 Oh. Eh, Tendríamos que elegir una temática primero, ¿verdad? Para elegir platos uh -huh. similares. Es, es que elegimos una, un patio. Quizá para que nos dé variedad, podría ser... Porque en fast food casi que todo es hamburguesa, <ríe> pizza. Hamburguesa, pizza. Ah. Tal Oye. vez... Ajá, italiana, comida italiana podría ser... Porque mexicano casi todo es en español, entonces no. No vamos a practicar mucho. Ajá, o también. Bueno, en italiano lleva bastante pasta, ¿verdad? Ajá. Podría ser. China, por ejemplo. Bueno, van a ir en, en chino los nombres. <risa> Italiana está bien, pero... Ay. Vamos, italiano, entonces. Eh, por ejemplo, aquí puede ser la ensalada César. ¿Qué otra puede ser? Eh, pan con ajo, ¿cómo sería? No sé, garlic bread. <ríe> garlic bread. That garlic is bread. correct. Yes, that's correct. <ríe> garlic bread. <ríe> garlic bread. También tomato soup. Tomato qué? Tomato soup. Ah. Tomato, así nada más. Oh. O le falta algo. Yes. Así. Así, ¿verdad? Otra ensalada que pudiera ser. Italian salad. <risa> es, como la, es como una ensalada fresca esa, sí. Ajá, que se lo lleva como una vinagreta, sí, Ajá, en invierno. Exacto. Vaya, vale, creo que con entrada es ponen eso. el tema de lo del carpacho. Ah, el carpacho, sí, pero no sé cómo se escribe. <ríe> carpacho, algo así creo, ¿verdad? <ríe> no estoy segura. <ríe> Ajá, de salmón. Creo que son dos P y dos T. Dos P. Car car dos P de carpacho, pero es. Carpaccio no es con C, Carpacio. Con C. Con C. Doble C y O. Carpacio. Ah, la H no la lleva. Así. Carpacio. Bueno, ya creo que entradas con esas. Platos fuertes. Lasaña. Lasaña. No sé si lasaña. se escribe otra forma. Lasaña. Yeah. Podemos ponerle lasaña con algo más para que lasaña. Three cheese. <ríe> Tres quesos. <ríe> sí. Rico, ricota. Ajá. Con ricota. Ricota. Lasaña with three cheese o cómo sería. <ríe> Así se escribe. ¿Eh? With, Solo lasaña. That would be three cheese lasaña. Ah, ok. Three cheese lasaña. Eh, ¿Cuál era? Rick, Rick. 
lasaña ricota, ¿verdad? Mm, no. Bueno, es que ya podías cambiar de pasta. Mm, tal vez unos... Eh, ravioli. Ravioli... ¿Con qué se sirven? Se sirven con salsas. With sauce, ajá. Podemos poner sauce, carbo, sauce. Car, carbon, carbonara, creo que es. Carbonara sauce. Ah, sí, es como una, como que es como de quemadita, algo así esa salsa. Ajá. Y la, también hay una pasta Alfredo, ¿verdad? Ah, Alfredo. Sí. Bien rica. Alfredo, pues. Esa es rica. As, Alfredo, <risa> pues, sería, ¿verdad? Así. Sí. Alfredo Paz, o tiene otro, se escribe de una forma, pasta. Uh -huh. No lo sé. Yo creo que... eh, pasta sí, y es pasta. 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 Ajá, pasta, pasta. igual que en español. Uh -huh. Ok. Vaya. Veamos qué más. ¿Cuántas llevamos? Tres de los platos principales. Que son boloñesas. Tanto pasta como, como lasaña. Ajá, espagueti, espagueti, bolognese, ¿o no? I think. Pero no sé cómo se escribe, bueno, bolognese. Bolonesa con ah, doble S, sí. creo que es. Nesa. Bolognese. Eh, ¿Cuál otro dijeron? Pizza. Ah, sí, también. ¿Y los panini? Ah, también son de ellos, es cierto. Sería el más como... Bueno, sí. A la pizza, ¿qué, qué le ponemos? Margarita. Sí, Margarita. Una clásica de ellos. Margarita. No sé si cómo se escribiría en... Margarita. Margarita pizza. Ajá, porque no sé si es italiano o inglés. <risa> Al otro dijeron, perdón. Panini, dijo. Ah. Panini. Con eso estamos. Sí, ya los platos principales con eso. Ok. Aquí en postres. No, de ser tiramisú. Qué ah, lato. Sí. Ah, sí. Canoli. Tiramisú, no sé si así se escribe o lleva alguna... No, así como se escribe, tiramisú. tiramisú. Ajá. Tiramisú. Ah, no, ¿cómo era? Así como se oye. Tiramisú. tiramisú. Los canoli sí son italianos. Los El gelato. 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 Canoli va con el doble N, ¿o no? Creo que sí. Sí, así. Gelato, así como se escucha. Así. Panacota. Gelato. Uh, gelato. Gelato. Y es. Ese no sé también si ¿sí? va o lleva doble T, van a cota. No, sí, normal. No. Vale, en las no bebidas, sé. en el italiano siempre tiene que haber el vino. Wine. Ajá. Wine. Italian soda también. Italian soda. <ríe> no sé si de verdad es italiana, pero... La he visto no, en un no. <risa> eh, ¿Qué más? Tiene que ver agua, water. El limoncelo. Lemonada. Lemonade. Lemonade. Sí, se escribe, ¿verdad? Limoncello. Orange. Limoncello. Esa es una bebida italiana, limón. ¿Cómo se escribe? Así. L I L I Mon. Al principio. L I. Ajá. Ajá. Y al final. Limón C doble L O. Es limonchelo. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? Orange juice. En sodas. Lleva una I, juice, ¿verdad? Así. Juice, sí. Juice. Ya, solamente. No sé. Sí. 
vamos a poner en dos columnas para que se vea mejor. Le tenemos que presentar, ¿verdad? Sí. Si no veo cómo hace eso, Imelda, leo que no me doy cuenta cómo se hace. Ah, lo de las columnas. Sí. Sí, aquí en disposición. Ahí sale. Ajá. Para ponerlo así en dos columnas. Pero no me acordaba, la verdad. Lo estaba buscando porque no me acordaba dónde era. Yo casi solo trabajo con Excel. Ah, no, igual yo es solamente Word, alguna no carta o algo que haya que hacer mientras solo Excel. Lo que me cae mal de Word es que si uno mueve una imagen, se mueve todo el documento. Se mueve Pero, todo, sí. Sí, a mí por eso no me gusta Word tampoco. Ok. Ahora aquí un tamaño más bonito. Lo voy a poner, ay, voy a poner así en, en pequeñito para que le puedan tomar captura. No sé si ahí lo ven. Ahí está, ya. Okay. Verde las letras. No, la, la, de, los, la de los platillos para ah, que esa. se vea el contraste. <ríe> Sí, casi siempre usan esos colores, ¿verdad? El rojo, el verde. ¿Y cuál es el otro que lleva? Por la bandera, rojo, Ajá. verde y blanco. Y el nombre del restaurante. <risa> Italian food. Mm. En oh, original. Al Alfredo es el que siempre le pone. <risa> Alfredo es Italian food. Uh -huh. <risa> Me doble volumen también. Quietos. Bye. Imagino que se va a terminar solita la reunión, ¿verdad? Uy, no, Sí, cuando la teacher no llama.
No hay ni un diseñador gráfico aquí en el grupo. ¿para qué? Fracasamos con los diseños gráficos. Para que nos ayude con el diseño. Uh -huh. No, pues, pero hicieron lo que, lo que pudieron, pues. Sí, o sea, mire, se entiende, porque pues no es igual como estar en, en otras circunstancias, ¿verdad? Pero para lo que, pues han usado lo que estaba disponible en cuanto a material, ¿verdad? Y a, sí. a, a tecnología, a recursos, lo que se podía, ¿verdad? Dijeron, yo no puedo en tal cosa, pero puedo en Word. Ya, <risa> pues, yeah, so, la idea es, es como... Nada más la práctica, vea, y luego que sí. pasen y lo presenten, y ahí se ponen de acuerdo cómo lo van a presentar, en qué, en qué, ¿Qué se enfocaron, orden? cuál es lo, ajá, it's an, it, um, ajá, it's for an Italian food restaurant, que se enfocaron en un menú de un restaurante italiano, y como starters tienen esto y esto y esto. No hay precio, vea, para... <ríe> ok, so... Eh, para no pueden... asustar al cliente. Ok. Ok. So, yes, uh, se terminó el tiempo, pero todavía tienen un subminuto antes de que okay. la sección termine para que se pongan de acuerdo cómo lo van a presentar. O si van a guardar o algo. Eh, no sé cómo, cómo lo presentan. Yo creo que todos tenemos tenemos la la foto. Pero quiénes hablarían, quiénes lo presentarían. Alguien que se sepa expresar mejor. <ríe> que como que presente eh, las entradas, eh, luego yo puedo decir los, los, los menús, eh, los, perdón, los, los, los postres, y alguien más los, los main course. Ah, ya se salieron. Las ya demás. se salieron. <risa> Saludos, nos quedamos. <risa> Ajá, no ven el cronómetro, ya les dije que tienen un minuto para ponerse de acuerdo. Sí, yo estaba escuchando, pero de repente ya se habían salido todos. Sí, se quisieron salir rápido. Gran tortura, vea, estar en el grupo. Entonces hay que mencionarlas. Y que... Uh -huh. No problem. Ok, uh, let's see. Uh, we are going to ask for volunteers who would like to present first. There were four groups. Who's going to go first? We can present first, teacher. Excellent. Thank you so much, Belen. Uh, I'm going to share some... Okay, we can start with the stars, the starts. Uh, Carlos? Yes. No sé si tenemos que ir leyendo, teacher, no sé cómo se la dinámica. Yes, you can uh, describe what is the market for your menu, what kind of restaurant is it? Fast food. Uh, Eh, oh, decía ahí en el... Ok, you, uh, you went for the fast food restaurant. Ok, nice. Yeah. Something like that. And the first section yeah. of your menu are the starters. The starter. Ok, that's the first section. What do you have for the starters in your menu? Nachos, french fries and cheese and garlic with cheese and garlic, onion rings, and pinchos for starter. Do I read the, all the all the menu? 
No. I don't know what is the cuál cuál es la dinámica que hicieron o o si solo lo iba a decir uno solo. No, es que eso es lo que eso es lo que no no estoy muy, no estamos muy claros. Eso es lo que no entendemos. Si lo vamos a ir diciendo como cada quien un pedacito o cómo o sea, es no nos quedó como muy claro. Entonces lo que hicimos fue el menú, pero cómo presentarlo ahí estamos como confundidos. Oh, you can uh, uh, everybody in the group can uh, present Just one real. section of the menu. And say so as main course, we have a selection of six or five dishes. The first one is this and this and that, and yes. Okay, entonces, um, se me ha ido Rubén, creo que era el otro compañero. Yes. Okay, entonces, can you read the main courses, please? Chicken for is with rice and salad. Caesar salad, wings with orange sauce, chicken hamburger, lasagna. Okay, then um, Mer Mercedes. Next. Dessert, cheesecake, tres leches. Strawberry crepes with ice cream, apple pie with ice cream, ice cream. Okay, and then drinks, soda, coffee, frappuccino, frozen fruits, tea, and orange, orange juice. Um, our menu is based in fast food and with a little or uh, like comida casera. How do you say comida casera, teacher? House, uh, house made food. House made food. It's like a, a combination of fast food and house made food. And then we try to put some, some kind of food that people approve um the people approve a lot for example the chicken fries with rice and salad is the most common uh, so it's like you know that the chicken fry it's always good it's like and doesn't have probabilities that it, it the taste was weird because the preparation is very simple and so it's a combination or fast food and house made food. Okay, so it's it looks interesting because it's not focusing just one marketing, right? So you no. have uh, the uh, fast food and maybe for people who rather homemade food, it, they will go probably for the fried chicken because it's, the, okay. it's something that uh, most of the people like. Yeah, and uh, for example, if you can, if um, all can see, uh, one of the main courses is Caesar salad, because some people consider that Caesar salad is the main course. It's the only thing they can eat and all eat. And it's like a vari variedad, kind of vari vari how do you variety. Say? Variety. Okay, yeah. nice. I think it's, it's really attractive. I would like to try the French fries with cheese and garlic. It sounds delicious. Yeah, they yeah. are delicious. Yeah, right. Very Mercy delicious. will prepare the lasagna. <laughs> okay. En Crispies venden esa, venden una entradita así, riquísima. Oh, really? In Crispies? Yes. Yes, but that's a pizzeria, right? And they have. Es entradita, pero yo después de eso ya no me pude comer lo demás. En la entradota, entonces. Sí. <laughs> okay. Es que la papa llena bastante, entonces no. ya con todo el quesito, aco. Mm. And the it, the serving, the portion was big. Yes, a little big. Okay, and the price? <laughs> a little big. 
the fries the normally French fries, fries, French fries. Nice. Okay. But, uh, half pound. Half pound. Okay, nice. Almost. It's, uh, Is it's there anything for else? one person. Oh, okay, right. Is there anything else you would like to add, Belen, or your group? Well, maybe the from the when we created the menu from the search, we put it something that I really like it. For example, uh, the teacher, I put the, the, the two names, uh, or tres leches, because for culture, it's tres leches, not three milks. It sounds horrible, three milks. <laughs> so yeah. tres leches. Uh, uh -huh. There are some menus that has in in the the, um, range. the menus are in in like Spanish and they are also uh, translated to English and yeah. they have sometimes a description of the dish. Uh huh. Yeah. So but it's we okay. keep the culture. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Um, we put it something that uh, we like it. For example, uh, Tres Leches, I think, was from Mercy, right, Mercedes? Mercy. Okay, strawberry crepes with ice cream was idea from Carlos Mario. And then uh, we have ice cream idea from Ruben and apple pie with ice cream too. And the cheesecake is my favorite. So it's a kind of uh, something that we really like. Awesome. Awesome that everybody participate in the, creating this menu. And those are very popular desserts. It's a very wide variety. It's, it's uh, like, for example, the crepes are not in all places. You have to look for a specific place in order to get a crepe. So for me, that is amazing that you included in the desserts. It's not really common. Yeah. Guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Uh, well, just that teacher, because we can, um, it's my computer. So it's like, se volvió loca. <laughs> y, y I lost the connection. So we just doing this. Uh, I think we uh, you covered pretty Max, much. Maybe uh, we'll, maybe we'll uh -huh. that was the last one. But the last you, one. You cover almost everything, and that's a very nice menu that looks very complete and appealing. That's attractive. The variety that you include there. So nice job for your group. Nice. Thank you so much, Melin, and your group. Thank you, teacher. And uh, second group. Thanks, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, now, Miss. <laughs> this is uh, our menu of the pizza, los comalitos. Está José Ruti, Judy Cuellar, Margarita Martínez, José Corea. Yo me quedo en el restaurante. And me. <laughs> in, in the start, uh, I tell the start and the others, the, the other, uh, tell the, the other, the other things. The start, uh, we have a garlic bread, and notes, and pali trockets. And now continue Jose Rudy. Jose Rudy. Okay. And size dishes is um, uh, Cesar salad, quesadillas with cheese, and apple curry and french fries. Okay. Margarita Martinez. Margarita. Hello. You say the main courses. Uh, pizza Supreme White Cheese, Bolognese, White Lamb, 
lasagna, lasagna as, as para asparagus soup 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 um, um, judy okay um, desserts apple pie three meal pudding banana chocolate okay. ice cream okay and the last is uh, Jose Correa. Jose está trabajando. Ah, uh, yes, I think. Okay. And drinks, uh, we have soda, coffee, cappuccinos, and smoothies. Okay, it looks like uh, um, it's like a pizzeria menu, right? Sí, yes. Okay, so what do you think, a volunteer? I think I'm getting hungry now. You, you're including yes. delicious things in your menu. <laughs> yes. but is it like this is the restaurants are still working, teacher. <laughs> yes <laughs> so we can find a couple of them still open let's see how uh, nice I yes Pizza Hut I think that they have those quesadillas with cheese and avocado and they are delicious yes, yes. nice even have the corn pizza corn pizza yeah it's very delicious is it new a new specialty uh, no no, no, was maybe a year, a year ago was bacon with corn and cheese. Sounds delicious. Sounds maybe delicious. I'm going to go there. <laughs> maybe on the weekend. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for your participation. Next group. We're missing just two. Uh, we can go. Okay, Carmen, uh, or oh, who raised the hand? Carmen? Um, to... Okay, um, we decide to do an Italian restaurant menu. So uh, we decide to um, to do um, Italian specialties, um, that is our menu. So, uh, starters, we have a garlic bread, Caesar salad, tomato soup, Italian salad, and carpaccio. Uh, maybe Francisco, can we? Can continue. Okay. Um, for de dessert, um, tiramisu, cannoli, gelato, panacotta. Main course. Sigo, Imelda. Yes. Okay. Or somebody else can. Continue. Yeah. I can I can do the main course. We have three cheese lasagna, ravioli with carbonara sauce, Alfredo pasta, spaghetti moronese, margarita pizza, and panini. For drinks, we think um, wine, Italian soda, water, limoncello. Orange juice, juice and sodas. Okay. And that is all. Nice. I see that is the first menu that I see that include wine. <laughs> <laughs> you can it's... you can you can um take uh, don't take wine with your eat pasta. That is <laughs> Sure. But that's a yes. very 
very delicious combination to have a, a glass of wine with a dish of pasta. Nice. Um, yes. <laughs> very good. It's very complete and it's a very, very traditional Italian menu for what I see. And you, you even include the panna cotta, which is a very uh, kind of delicious dessert. It is not very common, right? Gelato is delicious as well. But it looks like a expensive menu. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, it's yes. Um, a little fancy. <laughs> yes, it's a, a fancy Italian menu. <laughs> nice. but, sound, but it sounds delicious. Sounds delicious and fancy. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your participation. Okay. We're missing one group. Thank you. Okay. Wait a minute. The stage is yours. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, uh, the Mexican food teacher. Okay. Starter, nachos, cheese, stuff, no, stuffed, uh, stuffed, soft, soft, soft chilies, Mexican spinach dip, Mexican chicken empanadas, and guacamole. Help me, please. <laughs> I dishes, chicken stick, nuggets, fried tortilla, and French tortilla. fries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the main course, tortas, burritos, tortilla sop, quesadillas, tacos, and gringas. <clears throat> and desserts, dairy cows, rice pudding, and ice cream. And drinks, <clears throat> a beer, iced tea, orange juice, and mineral water. This is all, teacher. Okay, uh, one of the desserts caught my attention. Hericayas, hey, hericayas, how? <laughs> <laughs> it you is. Know, what is that? I have never tried that one. ¿Dónde está, está la creadora? Dinner? La creadora de las ericayas. <ríe> no las he probado realmente. <ríe> oh, really? <Yeah. ríe> bueno, la voy a googlear entonces. Es la primera vez que he escuchado ese dessert. I'm going to investigate a little bit about it. Okay, so nice job. I know that you did what you could. Uh, yeah, hicieron lo que pudieron because I, I know it is complicated to design a menu in 15 minutes, but you did what you could and you did a very nice job. So it is time to check attendance. So try to, if it is possible, turn your cameras if it's possible and remember to say present as soon as you hear your name. So let's see. Okay, Andrea Laurena. Andrea Laurena no se unió ahora quizás. Belén Batres. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Belén. Carlos Mario Avedaño. Carlos Mario Avedaño. Carmen René. Present teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Delmi Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Francisco Nehemías. Present. Thank you. Helen Dionelli Barraza. Present teacher. Thank you. It is Joanna Cañas. Present. Thank you so much. Sorry, okay. teacher. Fui a tomar agua. Uh, Carlos Avendaño. Carlos, okay, here. Thank you so much. Um, 
Helen, ya, verdad. It is Joanna. Present. Thank you so much. Jose Arnoldo. Jose Arnoldo. Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Juan Ricardo Menedemo. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenya Cecilia Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Kenya. Maricela del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. It's not here. Moises Alberto. Noemi Albertina. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Noemi. Rafael Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Reina Present. Margarita. Thank you, Rafael. Reina Margarita. Teacher. Present. Okay, your name, Moises. sir? Moises. Moises okay, sí. Moises. Thank you so much. Rubén de Jesús. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rubén. Stephanie Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Yudi Araceli. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jose Rudy. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Ana Mercedes. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. Maria Angelica. Present. Thank you. Imelda Elizabeth. Present. Thank you so much. Susana Esmeralda. Susana Esmeralda. Maybe not. Okay, so let's see. Para ahora estaría en sección 1-1, Carmen René, para que se quede unos 10 minutitos después de la clase. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Okay, so how are you doing with the platform? ¿Cómo van con el avance de la plataforma? En mi caso, creo que voy al día, solo el día de hoy me falta. Yo llevo 50 ahorita, señorita. ¿50? ¿La sección 1 o de todo? Ya corregí la mitad, llevo casi. Ok. Voy, ya corregí, awesome. ya corregí lo. Ya recogí lo, corregí lo que usted me dijo. Ah, ok, fantastic. And the rest of you? Y me falta. To be oh. honest, teacher, today I'm going to start to complete all the platform. Ok, uh, thank you so much. So we're going to, tenemos que hacer un update de las notas. Entonces yo lo voy a hacer mañana para darles chancecitos si no... Si no han avanzado, pero Thank si you, traten, traten de hacer, um, por lo menos terminar la sección 1, si les es posible, ¿verdad? Como les decía, tienen que ir adelante y cualquier cosa pueden pedir ayuda en el chat. Um, so, let's see. To continue with this topic, we have some vocabulary about the uh, marketing strategies that some restaurants use. So let's continue here. So in this one, we will uh, be able to describe an action plan to introduce a new item on a menu. And this is the question. What would you do to introduce a new menu item? What do you think about giving free samples of new products? Let's read the following strategies to introduce a new menu item and check the boss to the next the strategy you would consider implementing. Okay, so we have the first one. Provide free food samplings of your new product. 
add new items to your website. Use social network sites to share the information about the new products. Advertise the products in the white space of the receipts. Give a promotional offer that includes the new items to customers after a recent visit. So let us share the ones that you would apply and then you could tell us why. Why did they choose those strategies? Select the ones that you would apply, and then you can tell us why did you select those ones. Okay, we have Imelda. Um, yes, I choose use social network sites to share the information about your new product because uh, so many. Uh, so many times or muchas veces, so many times. A lot of times. A lot of time. Or most I, of the time. Más, la mayor parte del tiempo, most of the time. Okay. O puede uh, decir en mayoría I, de casos, in most cases. Uh, but in my personal case, I have decided to go to a new restaurant, for example, because I am scrolling the uh, some uh, social media and I found a ad that is promoting the new product. Okay, nice. Thank you so much, Imelda. Another volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you, Noemi. Uh, Bueno, my strategy is provide free food sampling of uh, our new product because it's, it's, the, it's the best, uh, it's the best, uh, um, the best main to to uh, show the the new the new products. Okay, so for you, sampling is the best option to yes. promote uh, a new item, right? Okay, yes. good. Thank you so much, Naomi. Uh, Juan? Probably free full chaplain of your new product. Okay. Social network chistes charity a that information about your new product. Okay, so you selected two strategies, not only one, two. Nice. Thank you so much, Juan. Any other volunteer? Belen, thank you. Give a promotional offer that includes the new items to customer after a recent visit. Uh -huh. A promotional offer that includes the new item. That's nice because, uh -huh. mm, but give us your reason first. Why is your reason to select that one? Because, um, it's true that uh, the new customers are very important, but if the restaurant have already a list of customers that go very, um, um, ¿cómo se diría? Um, que va muy seguido. Uh, it's a frequent customer. ¿Cómo, perdón? Regular customer. A regular customer. customer. Uh -huh, it's a regular uh, customer. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, if the restaurant have a list that a regular uh, have a list of regular customers, uh, uh, 
uh, for that promotional, that regular customers that uh, the restaurant are already uh, had, they got more customers like a reference uh, for the that promotion. And then, uh, yes, the restaurant have to take plan of give more promotional like that, but that will be a, a, the restaurant keep continue with the new customers. They have another reference and it's like a cycle for me. And that's how it works for me. For example, if I don't know the restaurant, but somebody told me here it's in a promotional for that kind of food if i like the food i will go to that restaurant and i go with some someone else and then that someone else go to um another people or person uh-huh i got your point that is yeah. called mouth mouth to mouth advertising yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah uh, it, obviously with the social uh, media it's more easy but uh -huh, it's, it's something like that yes but i got it because if you give a promotional offer to a regular customer the regular customers for they a, will bring their their friends their family and their family of that customers will bring uh, their family and their friends too uh, maybe the restaurant is like the the Mr. Donut. The Mr. Donut only have a, the promotional, the most stronger promotional of September, and then it's like, oh my God! They if they have two promotionals like that in a year, maybe it would be more um, producing. Uh huh. Productive. Productive. Yeah. Yes, I, I got your point. They they never change. They stay the same, right? They didn't yeah. renew anything. So they mm -hmm. they should renew. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But it's a good one because no doesn't matter if the donuts of the gas station uno was better off of the from the donut place was better on September. Anyone eats donuts from Mr. Donut. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Thank you so much for your participation. So for tomorrow, I think that we will finish the section number one and then we will move on. Thank you so much. I hope that you sleep well. Remember to work on the platform and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good evening. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. Good night. Good night. You tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. Buenas noches. Bye bye. Dios lo bendiga a todas. Yes, you too. Let me stop sharing. Okay, Irene, how do you feel? ¿Cómo va, Irene? ¿Cómo siente las clases? Eh, okay. I like no. Eh, no. Eh, how you explain the classes, no. but I still can't a whole the conversation <laughs> and understand the speak fast. Oh, you don't understand when uh, when I speak fast or in general when people speak fast? Yes, teacher. Okay, and you think that you cannot hold uh, a conversation. It's difficult for you. Yes, teacher. So I assume I, that I'm thinking in Spanish uh, and then an English. Mm, that <laughs> can be something that is um, a, my bride. <laughs> yes, uh, I know that you, you what you can do is to practice and uh, because you know uh, um, at least more than basic English, you have it. Yes, you have more than basic in your head. So when Spanish is coming to your head, block it, block it. <laughs> you don't need it, block it. You can do it in English. I know it's difficult. I know it takes a lot of practice, but um, uh, I try to do that and I, I did it, my technique. I, maybe that can work to you. Uh, because I had the same problem and many people have has the same problem that they first think in Spanish 
and then you try to translate that in English and that makes your speaking difficult. Yes, teacher. So, yes, what you have to do, I don't know if you, do you work during the day? In my work, I don't speak English. Uh-huh, but you have to travel to work. Mm, no, no. You're working teacher. from home. Uh, no, in the office. In the office, okay. And you, do you drive to work or you take the bus? I drive. And sometimes you're in a traffic, right? Yes, yeah, teacher. What do you do when you're in a traffic? Yeah. You're just like oh. thinking, oh my God, it's a traffic. <laughs> no. uh, all the day because uh, my work... Uh, Está cerca. ¿Cómo se dice está cerca? It's near it's, my house. It's near my house. Uh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes from home. Oh, okay. It's, uh, yes, it's, it's not uh, very frequent that you can get into a traffic. But what you can do is like uh, practice with readings. Eh, puede practicar con lecturas para ir comprendiendo, comprendiendo y poco a poco tratar de dejar de traducir lo que está leyendo. Otra cosa que puede hacer es tratar de platicar con usted misma en inglés, no sé, mientras esté en tráfico o empezar a pensar en inglés. Porque esa es otra cosa que de repente lo tiene que usar ya porque ya es, eh, porque tiene que participar en la clase o porque tiene que conversar con otro. Entonces, <risa> sí. en el momento es como que, y empiezo a pensar en español, pero puede practicarlo usted sola en, en su casa. Por ejemplo, empezar a pensar, oh, I have to make dinner. Uh, I don't know what to cook today. Maybe I have to check on my refrigerator. What do we have? Okay, I have some eggs, tomatoes. Uh, maybe I can go for some scrambled eggs, beans. Okay, I think that they're gonna like that. The usual things in my house. Yes, and you can start thinking in English where you are alone and say, okay, I finished dinner. Now I have to wash the dishes. Um, I'm in the mood to listen to music. Maybe while I wash the dishes, I can dance and wash the dishes. I don't know. And you can start thinking or talking to yourself in English. That is I something that- I have never it, thought about it. Uh, but, in my case, <laughs> it, it helped me a lot. Uh, I usually talk to myself and I say, okay, today I had a, a horrible day at work. It was really stressful. I had to train new people. Oh my God. And I had a lot of assignments to do today. <laughs> but in the other side, I just received five calls. So I think that it was not bad, like, completely bad. <laughs> there is something positive. Let's think in another positive aspect about they say. And I started to talk to myself, thinking about what happened today, what happened yesterday, and sometimes planning for the next day. For example, mm -hmm. okay, what are my plans for tomorrow? I'm going to get up at six o'clock and probably I'm going to do some exercise with Fausto Murillo, the cardio steps is amazing. Uh, <laughs> and, ya quisiera. <laughs> yeah, but you can start like practicing with uh, talking to yourself. Okay, ¿qué es lo que hice ayer? Okay, um, René, ¿qué hiciste? Acordate, acordate. René, ¿qué hiciste? Okay, René, te voy a decir qué hice ayer. Primero, yo fui a tal parte y empieza a practicar, a practicar, a practicar. Como que está hablando con usted misma. O de repente lo que está haciendo hoy mismo o lo que piensa hacer mañana. Pero trate de ir pensando en inglés para usted misma para que después ya no le cueste. Porque okay. de repente, como uno no lo ocupa, siempre el inglés se le olvidan cosas. Y a veces cositas sencillas como que, ay, ¿cómo es que se decía vaso? Ah, glass, igual que vidrio, ventana. Ah, glass, I need a glass of water. Ok. Ah, ¿cuántos vasos me he tomado? How many glasses of water have, have I drank today? Just one, I need to get two more glasses of water. It's, y así. Empezar a hablar con usted misma, tal vez como que está haciendo una conversación con otra persona, 
porque eso le va a hacer que usted esté ejercitando y de repente eh, decir, oh, no, ¿cómo se dice tal cosa? Y ya lo busco en el traductor, eh, le pulsa la cosita para que le pronuncie en inglés y ya sí. ah, se dice de tal forma. Entonces eso también le provoca a que usted investigue más vocabulario. Y entre más vocabulario usted tiene, se le hace más fácil el inglés. Y lo mismo sucede con las lecturas. Puede buscar lecturas sencillas de rutinas diarias, por ejemplo. And I have a, a son who speaks English. Uh -huh. Pero él me habla muy rápido. Uh, pero puede pedirle que le hable más despacio. <risa> Se puede por, y perder la pena, porque si a usted le da pena decirle como que ay, él asume que usted le está entendiendo uh -huh. todo. Entonces, como que, mira, háblame un poquito más, como más claro y más, más despacito, porque no te puedo seguir el <ríe> sí. paso. Y después usted se va acostumbrando y ya luego esta persona igual, porque también con la pronunciación es difícil, de repente cambian maestro. Y es un proceso. A ustedes ya más o menos le conocían el hablado a su maestro anterior. Después viene uno nuevo. Pero se van adaptando a la forma de hablar de la persona. Pero para empezar creo que podría aprovechar y decirle que hable más despacio. Uh -huh. Thanks, teacher, for all tips for me. Nice. Y otra cosa que le va a ayudar bastante es lo que vimos, el tema reciente de los fanboys, ¿Sí? eh, porque tiene que ir conectando las oraciones. Entonces es como hacer un párrafo, trate de hacer un párrafo y póngase de meta a incluir todos los fanboys. Póngase de meta un día, va a decir, voy a hacer el párrafo utilizando estos conectores el viernes en la tarde que ya salgo de trabajar y me relajo, ¿verdad? Escribir, lleve un cuadernito donde usted vaya escribiendo cositas. Puede ser también, escriba algo, un pequeñito párrafo de cinco líneas cada día. Eso también le puede ayudar. Hacer párrafos pequeñitos, escribir cositas pequeñas. Uh, today it was a very nice day. I tried something new for breakfast. O me consentí. I pampered myself and I went to Starbucks. And I got a very delicious coffee with uh, <laughs> uh, my favorite cheesecake. The, the, ¿Cómo es que se llama este cheesecake de ahí? De tres leches, demasiado dulce, pero tienen otro como berry, no sé qué. <laughs> Entonces, escribir algo pequeñito de algo bonito que le pasó en el día, pero trate de hacerlo en inglés. O un okay. plan, un objetivo, lo que sea. Pero eso okay. le puede ayudar, ir escribiendo cositas o pensando o platicando con usted para que suelte el speaking y también investigar nuevo vocabulario. Ok, teacher. Uh -huh. ¿Algo Muchas más? gracias. Yo creo que la verdad que, que me gusta su metodología. Siento que entiendo un poquito más que con, el, con algunos de los anteriores teachers. Así que le agradezco realmente y la paciencia igual y el orden que pone también porque a veces eso influye también en la clase. Sí, trato, <risa> trato, porque a veces como que estar hablando y estar muteando y a veces como que, ay, no, ya, pero bueno, sí, pero bueno, que me alegro y pues vamos a tomar en cuenta eh, para tal vez mañana ponerles algo que lean, que analicen y que pues hagan sus, sus algo escrito. El, un, uno de los teachers que tuvimos también nos ponía los listening. Como, ok, le voy a poner algo y usted escriba de qué se trató o las palabras que identifica o, o que no identifica, pero a esas alturas pues uno tendría que por lo menos saber de qué está hablando cuando le pone el listening. Ajá, y, y se los ¿no? mandaba siempre por WhatsApp, me imagino. Sí, ah, y okay. había eh, diferentes formas de hablar, entonces había personas a las que uno le entendía como mejor, otras como que hablaban más rápido, ¿verdad? Mm, ok, ok, voy a buscar algo así para también ayudarles con eso. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Okay. Le agradezco mucho, René, gracias por su a tiempo, usted. por haberse quedado y la veo mañana. Ok, buenas noches. Buenas noches.